Alright, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to the Mothawk project. So, uh, today we're going to be working on the background of this thing. So, right here, we're going to be working on this bad boy. And then hopefully, you know, we are able to get to the parts that we, are, that we kind of, you know, work around with. Anyway, let's get started on this bad boy, shall we? <clears throat> so yeah, uh, today we're going to be working with this, so it's going to be fine. I have been a little bit distracted because the whole damn day it actually has been snowing in spring, so that was a little bit odd, for my liking at least. No check, yes, pencil to you. Exactly. All right. Let's get this thing on the road, shall we? It is actually quite hard to do this, but I think I will manage this one. So yeah, today we're actually gonna be working on this again, and then hopefully, you know, tomorrow I will be able to do it as well, and then the day after that, and the day after that, you know, the casual stuff. So, today we're going to be working on these roots, and then after that we are going to add some more stuff to it. So, we're now first going to finish this part up, and then we're going to add some more, uh, not diversity, um, textures, yeah, textures to it. So, we're going to be adding some more rooting in the background, and then, you know, create the crystals, and then, you know, add the roots to it, so that, you know, it will be looking more like, you know, the thing that we want to have in the background anyway. <coughs> so yeah, um, I hope, you know, this is all going to be just working fine. I think it will. It is, after all, it is just roots, so should not be that difficult of a deal, but eh. The main idea here is that we're just going to use the textures that we had before and reuse them again. So yeah. Hmm. It's quite impressive how much stuff actually goes on here. So the idea here is that, you know, since we have these roots connected to them, it should be downwards, but yeah. But, uh, coming back to the snow part, uh, it actually has been heavy snowing. Thankfully, it has not been dropping down, so hopefully now the snow will be, and there will be no snowfall sticking to the surface, because, ugh, I cannot have a second winter, that is horrible. It is supposed to be spring already, April, come on. But yeah, I have been celebrating um, with my family Easter, so that's good. I had a good lovely dinner then, and uh, you know, celebrating the old man coming out of his man cave is a good thing to do, so... Oh well. Sometimes this is actually quite hard to do. You know, drawing roots is not the worst thing. Neither is it's going to be the easiest thing to do because most of the roots are indeed complicated to draw because of all the stuff. And I think I even need to draw some more. But I must not forget I'm not supposed to use um, the filling in of these roots, otherwise it would look difficult. Nah, not difficult. I mean different. In a bad way. So, I'm just gonna add this party up like that, and then it should be fine. 
doing that. Let's take a look. Yes, it looks lovely. Alright. Now I need to figure out what I'm going to be doing here. I know that I'm going to be drawing a big one, so I should then work oil propel on drawing the line correctly. This one right here, yes, I need it. Pick up the color right there and then drag it down. That's no, a little bit more to the left. There you go, much better. Oh, hey, Cryak, how are things going? Well, um. Things are actually doing great. I actually had to do some stuff. I had to celebrate Easter. Had some, um, well, you know, work to do. But so far, so good. I think I will not drop the morning drawings, but I will not do them more as no, or not as much as usual because, well, waking up in the early morning is a really hard thing to do. And I do need my beauty sleep. I realize that. I realize that big time, and that is a thing, that's why. But yeah, I will be working on it later on. Definitely. So yeah, I actually have been working on this bad boy right here. And uh, this this is actually, you know, good old-fashioned, you know, working on it. So, uh, yeah. It's good to, uh, it's good to work on this. It's also good to work on, you know, the drawing itself. It really relaxes everything. And since that we're now back to the drawing part of it, it is not that difficult. Though sometimes it is difficult because, you know, drawing parts do need some kind of gu not guidance, but some of the parts that we are drawing here are not, you know, the same as it used to be. For instance, since that we are working with, you know, roots we need to get that root feeling towards the drawing. So the textures need to be rooty. And uh, that sometimes is hard to draw. But so far I'm doing great. I'm working on things. Uh, working on a lot of things. And uh, you know that also has some priority. And therefore you know. I need to be dropping some parts. Until you know the things are done. Of course, I don't want to draw my free time. Oh, hell no. But yeah, this is indeed a very good thing to do. <sighs> you know what actually funny is? If, if the, if, um, if I would have used, you know, any copyrighted music, I would have gone copyright struck already. And that's actually quite funny to see that, you know, you cannot do, mu you cannot use music in a drawing stream unless you pay for it. And that's sad. I mean, obviously, it is very sad to hear that, you know, because most people like to use, um, use music. Oh, hey, Blue! Nice to see you as well. And it's 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 really hard to see that you know that since that you're using music in your video it, w it won't work because of the copyright strike so you know you get copyright struck every single time and if you don't draw for like an hour then yeah it ain't gonna be working quite well I'm thinking by the way if you know if you use if you use copyright strike music, it would not work. But what if you use non copyright strike music? Would that actually impact them, or do you need to then include them into your video or whatever link or something like that? Probably, probably. 
and that is all difficult. It is a very nasty little bugaboo that you don't want to deal with, and therefore it is very not likely I will be using that. Because of all the amount of stuff that goes on with it. Now let's see if that, wo that looks like root. It looks like root, but it's not really root. There you go. Now it looks more like root. That more looks like root. Sometimes it's really hard to draw a root. The main problem with the roots is that, well, you know, oh, I drew it on the. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. It doesn't matter at all. Not on this one. There are royal, royalty free music, stream speed, uh, beats in the good catalog to use. I got claims on my own live streams for using uh, it on my intro, but I have permission via artist label to get work it out right now. Oh hey Baka, nice to see you again. So yeah, yeah, but uh, I think I think most of the times you know when. Not using not using music is actually a quite uh, quite well. It's a quite smart move, you know. After all, you need to have the right motivation to do this. So you know, normally I would do it, but eh, I feel like <laughs> being haven't been here. Well, you know, I'm glad I'm I'm glad you're here now. After all, you know, ages always pass. It's like, you know, I lived on a rock and now suddenly it's snowing, so it must be winter right now. The winter is coming again. Somehow. But yeah, um, lovely, a lovely day. A great day indeed. A great day to acquire my stuff that I want to draw. Probably, you know, after today, you know, I will be doing the morning streams again again and again and again like all daily work I just have to use the right motivation to do it and today was not a very good day to walk it was freezing somehow in April it's freezing that is not normal in April you should have like you know 20 degrees 15 degrees but not 5 degrees Celsius minus no thank you uh I hate when that happens. I hate it when that happens when I do I want to do my walk and then boom instantly it's getting colder and colder and colder. It's like no, you stay inside and do your homework. How dare you want to have fun by going on a walk? Shame on you. <laughs> we got a tiny little pit of spatter of snow for an hour now and now it's gone though. Well, eh, hey, you know, mine is still going sometimes. It's very annoying because it's on and off. It's like now it's winter, now it's not. Now it's winter, now it's not. Now it's winter, now it's not. Ooh, when will Santa come? <laughs> if the rain days, if the rain days start to talk, then I know that it's winter, definitely. Uh, I hate, I hate this so much. It's like you know, you have every single time you have snow. Ugh. Snow is always getting everywhere. It's wet, it's cold, and gets everywhere. I was walking with a dog, and my dog was looking like a spotted dog instead of, you know, being pure black with grey undertone. 
Oh well. Uh, let's see. So the main the main issue here is that you know we're we're working on getting these roots together and then fuse them into one. <laughs> I like we had a massive snowstorm the yeah with deep snow the last days in the middle of, uh, middle of May, but then three years ago n now this one is super weird. Yeah, yeah, my nose was feeling it. My nose was tingling like I smell there is something up today. Hmm, there is snow. No, that means that you're now sick, because you know my nose always gets it, my nose not supposed to be open. If I have an open nose, I am sick. If I don't have an open nose and my no nose is stuffed as um, is as dry as a doornail, then yes, I am not sick at all. So yeah, the the weather definitely definitely doesn't like me. I think even that I had a little cold. You know, from all this snowy business. I should really get a husky if I had one. If I had a choice for a if I had a choice for a dog it would be a husky. Probably not. They're a little bit too big for me to handle, but uh yeah. Once I get my own uh, apartment I will definitely get a de definitely get a house pet. Because you know house pets totally cheer you up all day long. Nah. So yeah. Anyhow, has been a time, hasn't it? Working on the Marfa project and all that stuff. Lovely Marfa project. The Marfa project with all of the gl glorious things with it. And of course, don't forget, King Larry is now our final official thing. <laughs> ah, it's lovely to see that you know I was able to draw. I was able to dress Larry in a king, with a king's embrace. Ah, it's the best. I don't know the co com uh, conversion to Celsius, but at, at Fahrenheit and the lowest, yeah. Random facts about John's nose. <laughs> yep, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Definitely ten out of ten. John's nose knows everything. Ten out of ten. Totally good facts. Ah yes, such a lovely fact indeed. Could you imagine it? You know. Being this man who always sniffs around, be like, my nose is open, I can breathe again, and I'm sick. <laughs> yeah, ne never, never trust the nose. It will, it will, it will get you. It will get you totally into noses, nonsense. Yes, of no, no of no nonsense of noses. Ah, uh, it's a very nosy business. Ah, uh, all right, that's enough of the those dry jokes. Ah, uh, it's so funny though. It's really funny that all this thing is all working, and I'm just, you know, I'm just carefully getting everything done and up and running. But ah, uh, man, it's so hard to keep a good schedule up, especially for drawing. It's really hard to do. It takes, it takes mind, it takes power, it takes energy, and sometimes I don't have the energy. So then it's like, ah, I cannot stream today. God damn it! It totally ruins my unique schedule of nothing. No. So yeah, it's it's really hard for me to do. It's really hard for me to keep the schedule straight. Sorry about that. It's a it's a thing that happens. I am not a very good person when it comes to to good schedules. I try to keep it on the same time though, but I cannot do it every time. The nose knows. Yes, the nose knows. Uh, all all things nosy businesses. Oh well. Anyway, also I noticed that I have a six twenty second delay. Apparently, I put that into my recording recording software. So technically, I have twenty second delay on a normal second thing. So technically, everything you hear is already set. It's like you have a twenty second future. I have a twenty second future vision. Ooh, I'm a time traveler now, boys and girls. Ah. Uh, it's also very funny to see the change in culture in the internet community. Holy hell. It's quite funny to see that there is actually a lot of business going on. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it business. Just casual business. Business that you're not supposed to concern about anyway. 
Ah, the lovely business. If I would ever run a business, it would have been a business about cookies. Probably. Cookies or cake? Hmm. What would be a better business? Cake or cookies? I, I think it is cake. No, no, no. I definitely know it's cake. If I ever would run a cake business, I would have done it. And you know what I would sell? Cocos cake. Why? Because cocos cake is a very good and unique flavor that really works well and is healthy. Yes, cocos cake. The power of cocos cake. Mm. And I'm hungry again. Great. Anyhow. So yeah. Uh have been I have been working on the Malfour project for today. And uh you know, I'm feeling quite well today, so that's good. I'm not feeling ill, I'm not feeling painful, no 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 itchy stabby stabby back problems with uh with my with my with my belly. No uh no problems there. Well it is a little bit of pressurized but it is no, you know, feeling of being sick or anything like that. Just casual business. Just stressed out. Just a stressed out stomach. That's all. No stabby knife knife feelings. Nope. Good for me. Good for me. Today is a good day. So yeah. Um I uh I'm very happy that I'm now working on a muffler project again. And uh look at that. That's a big giant root. Mm mm mm. That's a rooty business. Alright. I think we should play some so that's a really big root, so we should technically guide it up until right here. And that's how you do it. And now I know how to do it. Yes, awesome. Alright, now I'm gonna be casually drawing out and lining in. It's like a breeding exercise. A sort of run a run of cake business. I sort of run a cake business. Ooh, you run a cake business back then? Mmm, cake businesses are really good. You know, it's a very tasty business, especially with all the flavors in it. And that makes me hungry. And when you're hungry, you're not sick. That's always the important thing. So yeah, um, so what I'm going to be doing today is actually, you know, working on these roots. Check, I already said that 20 times before, but I need to just say this very important. It's roots, alright? Roots are very important to draw because, you know, we want to create texture into the background. Of course we don't want to make, you know, the background look like um, as, a, as as amazing as the foreground. That is true, we don't want... We want the for we want the butter we want the morfog to be the one the center thing in the whole damn thing, okay. So to get that, we actually need to make sure that the roots look nice, look great, but they don't need to be you know, they they don't need to be the center. That's why we're creating this kind of effect that we want to create with the roots to make it. So yeah. Sometimes I say uh, sell the cake at once every few months. A totally a business. Yeah, I would say yes. It is a totally business. It's a legit cake business. <laughs> it's almost like a business that's a piece of cake. Oh snap! Uh, I should have felt that coming. I should have felt that coming definitely. So yeah, it's a great it's a great day today. I uh, I mean really look look at this. Look how much stuff I'm actually getting done already. And let's take a look at now. Oh, 24 minutes yet. Oh, that's that's actually quite good. That's uh, great. That's an awesome idea. Then. So now we're just gonna be adding all this up. Hmm. 
Alright, so now that we have these fruits done, we now need to make sure that these fruits are good looking. Hmm. So, alright. Let me take a look at this. So, we have these roots here, that's true. Now, we need to add some more stuff to it. So we need to have these crystals inside of it. Yes, true, 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 true. So we need to draw these crystals. Alright. Pick up a place like this and then draw the crystal. So we want to draw the crystal right here. Right, we want to draw the crystal like that. We need to move it downwards because it's technically not allowed to be there. And now we need to make sure that we have this crystal drawn correctly. Alright. Now we need to get this thing done. There you go. So if we have this like that, would that work? No, we need the crystal more sharpened. So like this and then downwards. That. All right. Now that we have done that, we're now going to add some textures to this, and then hopefully now it will work. So this is now this is now the big giant crystal that we need. So this is the crystal that's underneath, you know, the roots. <laughs> I already have stopped. Don't you get me wrong, I am a very terrible person when it comes to dry jokes. The jokes either are not going to be, you know, falling into place or you know they don't work at all so that's why all right now I just want to test something out because that's the idea so we're gonna add a map yes we'll add a map quick group I'm gonna put all the top parts into it so not these and then we want to add a new layer to it, yes, and we want to beat that downwards. Now I want to have the color of brown. That's black. It's not the color I want. I actually want to have the color brown here. There you go. Now, if I add this color to this, yes, indeed. 
and I would add this like this. That will work. I'm just gonna be adding some colors to see what's going on here and how how this is gonna be looking, alright? Just give me just give me a tiny little it will give me a tiny little feeling of like how these roots are all connected and how these roots will work to see if the effect on the roots with a crystal can be done so that's the idea all right that's the idea so just give me a sec i just need to grab you know i just want to see like oh well this is how the roots look now and uh how it's all going to be feeling of course, you know, since that we are drawing these roots already, you know, lots of lots of stuff of here, lots lots of stuff already has been then done. So we don't need to do a lot here of coloring, but you know, it's just you know the tiny little bits that need to be done. Anyway. Okay, So yeah, the main problem here is that, you know, all this stuff is actually really hard to do. But yeah, the idea here is that we are looking for the color to see of what, uh, how, and how, the, how does this affect the pattern of the roots. To see if the roots are actually quite lovely to look at, and then, you know, once we add a second color to it, it will see if it then, you know, even gets better. So, that's the idea. And, you know, we're not going to be erasing these roots, so therefore, you know, uh, coloring it now and then, you know, adding some more color to it will give us more insight into the thing that we are trying to draw. Therefore, you know, making the drawing easier to draw. Eh. Did I say that right? Probably. It may just quick quick summary color makes art makes drawing look better, therefore I can see what to do next and how to do and how to do it. Ah uh, yes. Great hiccups. Lovely. See never always I always have a problem with these things. Ugh. I think I said it right, yes, I said it right this time. These, ugh. But I must say I'm not good with words when it comes to these things, especially when I draw things. No, no, it's... Now, to get everything done here...
right? Lovely. So yeah. The main issue here is that most of this drawing here is actually, you know, just casually coloring one color, but eh. Once we're done with the first color, we actually need one color more, and then I believe that will create the effect of the roots that we want, and then we can then add some more roots to connect to connect to the crystals, so it is going to be a little bit of a tricky situation right now, but it should be fine. Anyhow. So, uh, how's everybody else's day going? Mine is just, you know, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, so, uh, I have nothing else to complain about than snow today. Probably I should have complained about more than just snow, but eh, nothing else to complain. Just the good old fashioned weather of snow everywhere. Second winter. It's really good for your. Uh, for a lot of things. Anyhow. Ooh, look at that. Lovely. Nice. All right. How lovely. Um, forty minutes in already. Oh, that's de that's decent. That's not a lot of day. That's not a lot. I like it. So these roots are supposed to be, you know, less of a problem. So once we add some more roots to this, and then you know, embedded them into the crystals, that would actually even be even more better. So you know, we are absorbing the crystals with the roots. That would actually be a very smart idea. So the roots actually create the crystals. Or the other way around. Anyhow, now that we've done that, we can now use a second color to implement the second change of the color. Uh, come on. Save just in case. Ah. I mean, obviously, this saving is always taking a long time. It's already 6.4 gig. Well, you know, that's not a lot, but it's a lot for just a drawing. But it should be fine. There you go, darker. So if I add some darker parts to this, how does that work? Tinier. Yes, perfect.
Then I need to first go for the lighter color instead of the darker color. God damn it. It's always the same. It's always the thing that I always, I always overlook. First go for the lighter color, then for the darker color, otherwise it won't work. Right? Yes. Just to see if this actually works well. And that is all up to my good old fashioned art style. If, 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 if my texturing worked, this will actually create a real looking um, root effect. And if that does work, I will be very happy of course, and I will be celebrating big time. Because that means that, you know, since that we are able to create the effect of the thing that I wanted to create, it will have a, a lot of impact to the drawing. Because it means that I drew real roots. And that is all we need. Real looking roots created by a real looking feeling. But yeah. Also, I um, I picked up again uh, some. Uh, I also watched some anime again. I finally completed Black Clover, so that's good. And I am now rewatching the Avatar again, just in case. I just wanted to watch it again because I really felt like I missed out a lot. Uh, for you guys who didn't know, uh, I actually watched the Avatar in the Dutch version and not the English version, so. A lot of uh, a lot of the a lot of the a lot of the uh, voice acting is now way better because holy shit, people in the Dutch cannot do voice acting correctly when it comes to you know speaking normal. It's either it's either either Belgian or it is gonna be this you know Dutch accent, this Dutch talking that you really want doing well here. It's like, oh no, the bad guy has the same voice acting as the other bad guy? What? <laughs> it's stupid. It's so stupid. It's like, mm, did you run out of voice actors or something? Yes. Yes, we did. So everybody has the same voice acting. Everybody has the same, I am your bad guy, muhahaha person. It's, it's, uh, it's quite hilarious to see that so much. Yeah, it, it's it's quite funny to see that. And now you know, I'm just wa I'm rewatching this, and now it feels like yeah, yeah, this is much better. This is much better, much better than much better than the rest, indeed. No. What the hell just happened? Why did I skibbity woobity over there? That's not what I wanted. But yeah, th this is imp indeed important. And uh, the more the more I work with this, the better it feels. And now it already looks like roots. It is not yet feeling like roots, but it already looks rooty. It already looks like wood. So that is good. And if we want to change up the color a little bit, we can do that later on. You can already see how this is going on. Ta-da! So if we now look out, boom, baby, that already looks way better. Of course, you know, it's not fully done. Because a lot of open stuff, and we don't want the open stuff, we actually don't want that.
not right. It's like modern English dubbing of the anime then. Yep. Yep, it is. It is like that. It is horrible. That's why I always want that that's why I always watch anime in the original voice acting. It's actually quite nice to hear that. It really feels more alive sometimes. After all, everybody can read subtitles, right? Everybody can read subtitles and read the facial animation, the facial animation of the of the character and know what they say. So, if somebody is saying something in Japanese or something, and then you know you have the subtitles underneath it, and you see the voice, and you see the facial recognition of it, like you know you see what they're meaning with it, it really already tells a lot. Of course, you know, subtitles are indeed important because still there are some words that you don't know or don't even recognize and therefore, you know, it's very important to know. But some of the basic words I already get, even though, you know, it's just Japanese, it's just Japanese and so therefore, you know, eh, it's a bit uh, difficult, but eh, it's good enough. Anyway, so let's get going on this bad boy. So yeah, we're creating the root effect. Ooh, the root effect. It's quite nice to see that you know the root effect actually is like this. So you first start up with you first draw the roots itself, and then you know you add another color to it, and then you add a third color to it, and then therefore you know you compensate. The third color you're gonna go for the shading. This uh, the first color you're gonna go for, you know, the base color, and then that's and the second color is the lighting, and that will create the roots. And why the hell do I teleport again? I don't need to teleport. Thank you. Stop doing that. Because I slipped it out, it teleports me. It's not International Teleport Day. Thank you. If it was, I would have said so. But yeah, drawings. It's really lovely. And uh yeah, uh I hope um I hope you guys already uh, are enjoying this. You know, even though you know it's just, you know, me drawing roots, but uh, I you know we're getting there, we're getting there eventually. I hope at least. Let me just take a look at it. The time, the time, and the time is 50 minutes. Of course, of course, it is the 50 minutes. After you finish the avatar, of course, yeah. Also, you may may recommend the anime um, Invaded Mystery Trailer. It also has a phone. Ah, all right. I will. I will. I'll I'll, I'll take a look at it. But yeah, um, this is this is it for today. Um, I'm so very sorry that it's not a lot, but uh, looks like the 15 minutes are over. But uh, yeah, looks already like real root. It already looks like real wood, so that's good. Because you know, whenever you have wood, it's, it is it's gonna be good. So uh, I hope you all have enjoyed for today, and thanks all for watching. And I'll hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. Bye!